Hello there, thanks for joining me again. In today's video we're going to look at making changes to a process called Nagel's Algorithm which is running on your Windows 10 computer and is controlling the flow of data that your computer is sending out to other computers over the internet. Disabling the Nagel's Algorithm is something that is done by many gamers to reduce lag in online games. This has been reported by some people to give a noticeable improvement, especially for first-person shooters. What I want to do is give you a bit more detail about what Nagel's algorithm does, and then I'll go ahead and show you how to turn it off. Okay, so what is Nagel's algorithm? Well, data is transmitted from your computer to other computers using the TPC, TCP IP protocol. Data is sent in a TCP packet which is made up of the TCP header and the actual data. The information in the header makes sure that the data gets to where it needs to go. If a TCP packet is created every time a tiny piece of data is generated, for example a keystroke on a keyboard, this would greatly increase the number of TCP packets sent out and would also increase, would as a result, increase bandwidth use. Nagel's algorithm detects when a very small piece of data is generated and holds onto it, buffering it until more data is accumulated. When a large enough chunk of data is accumulated, it then puts it into a packet and sends it out. The question is, do we need Nagel's algorithm to be turned on. This was developed in 1984 when computer networks were very different, they were much slower and with far less ava available bandwidth. You could argue now that with modern computer network speeds you don't need to have this trade-off between bandwidth and network speed. By turning off Nagel's algorithm the buffering process is disabled and your application can freely send packets out on the wire with no risk restriction. This result results in reduced latency and many people have reported better performance in online games with a physical, visible improvement in lag. Okay, so I think that's enough background, so I'm hoping that you can kind of understand that the data on your machine is being buffered by Nagel's algorithm, it's been, the flow has been restricted, it's been held back. By turning it off, you are just allowing everything to flow freely, but as a result of that, you, you will increase your bandwidth use because you'll be sending out far more packets, far more TCP packets out on the wire. So with that in mind, if you understand all that, we can decide whether to try disabling Nagel's algorithm and seeing if you get an improvement in your in your gaming sessions. So let's go. So before we do this, <coughs> it's a very good idea to save a restore point so that you can perform a system restore. This does involve a change to the registry, so it would be a very good idea to save a restore point before doing anything. If you don't know how to use System Restore, then you can check out my other video which explains that process in more detail. Right, so the very first thing we're going to do is go to command line. I'm going to go to command line and type in IP config. Okay, so what we want to see is what the IP address is of my network card. So, oh, please excuse me, I always forget to do this. So you can see that under my wireless LAN adapter, I'm connecting over, over Wi Fi. My IP4 address is 192.168.0.4. Okay. So if you do that on your machine, then make a note of your IP address. That's all we need to do in command line. 
the rest of it is done in the registry so to get into the registry registry we go to reg edit okay and we want to browse to the following folder within the registry um, I'll tell you what this is and I'll also put it into the description of the video so we want to go to local machine and system hoping you can see this fairly well without having to magnify in at the moment current control set services and all the way down to TCP IP and parameters have I got that right? and interfaces and expand that sub over there. Okay, so you can see there that's the path that you need to use, and I'll be sure to put that in the description. It's far easier, and that's a big improvement in the registry in Windows 10 that you can just throw you can just throw that path into the address bar at the top there and not have to click through like I've just done. Okay, so we're in the interfaces folder. zoomed out on this hopefully you can see it well enough now we need to know there's a number of folders here what we need we need to do is find which one we have to actually make the changes on okay so if we click through one by one what we're looking for is an entry in, in the center pane there that reflect reflects our IP address. There's nothing in that top one. Click on the next one. So what you're looking for is an entry called DHCP IP address. And it should be your own IP address of your network card of your computer. So I found mine, it's just here. DHCP IP address 192.168.0.4 So this is the folder this folder here is the one that we have to make the changes on OK now to disable Nagel's algorithm we have to create two D word values and I'll show you what to do so we right click in the center pane and we select new and then D word value and we name the first one TC P ACK frequency got the spelling right on that one I think I do okay that's my first one and then my second one is TCP no delay so there we go there's the two new D word values that I've created TCP ACK frequency and TCP no delay now we have to set each one of these with a value of one and that's just as simple as just a double click and literally change it from zero to one very simple same again zero to one Okay, and that's literally all there is to it. So two new D word values, TCP act frequency, TCP no delay, and then change the value from zero to one. As you can see here, they've been changed. And that's all there is to it. Now all you have to do is reboot your machine 
and Nagel's algorithm should be disabled and you should hopefully see a noticeable difference in the lag that you experience in online games. I haven't had a chance to test this out myself as yet, but I certainly will be. Now one last thing, if you want to remove this, if you find that you're consuming too much bandwidth and you're having an effect on your home network, um, then you can just reverse this by going back into registry and changing each of these values back to zero. So we change them from one back to zero and that should reverse reverse the disabling of Nagel's algorithm. So that's that's really all you need to do. So give it a try and see how you get on. Hopefully you, you'll see a difference. So th thanks for joining me again and throw me a like and leave a comment in the video. Thanks very much.